Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with what I've melted over the last week. Today is Monday the 15th. Oh, yeah, the 15th of April. And <clears throat> so I have officially stopped counting my units because now that I'm not doing the wax band, we're kind of just doing a use more than we spend type thing. I got really overwhelmed because I I did wind up destashing over 200 total units last week, this past week. I destashed. I got to the point where I went through every single bin I had. Stuff that I have not reached for in four, six months. Stuff that I'm not impressed with the performance. Stuff that just whatever. So I went ahead and I listed a lot of my stuff. Um, I still have the big VCS one up. Um, I, 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 I went from having three shelves in my cupboard plus a long under the bed organizer full of VCS to down to like, I think it's a regional B box or a medium flat rate box. And that's just got a few items in it that are just my favorites that I can't let go of. Everything else I still have listed. I destashed all of my scoopable tart wax. Um, I find that Rose Girls performs better for me in my home. Um, in air conditioning season, scoobal, her scoopables do not do as well for me with, my, with when I have the air conditioning on. And we're going to be having our air conditioning on here in the next couple weeks. Um, I destashed most of my Southbound and I destashed most of my Tiffany candles. Those just, I had performance issues with them. Um... And it's just a personal preference. So, yeah. So, I know I destashed over 200 units. I lost track. I think I stopped at like 211. And I still had probably 10, 15 that I destashed beyond that. I am feeling really a lot better because I do have a lot more space now. So, I do feel a lot better. Um, now, I'm going to have a haul I'm going to do after this video that's going to kind of like take away from some of that because I have a lot that I got. So anyways, this video is to show you what I went through. So that's what I'm going to do. So I did melt some Luna from Super Tarts last night. This one I'm kind of getting sick of. I melted it so much that I'm really just, <laughs> it's kind of doing something to me. Um, it's lemon curd, French vanilla twilight. I'm having an issue with lemon curd all of a sudden and I love lemon curd, but I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I didn't really enjoy this last night like I usually do. <clears throat> but I have a bunch of this, so I'm trying to work through it. <clears throat> then I did some marshmallow jam cookies from Southbound. And this actually performed very well, but it is a year and a half old. The newer stuff I've got, I have not gotten anything out of. So I went ahead and just destashed. Well, I have it listed. I destashed about half of what I listed has sold. And then the other half, I'm just going to sit on until it sells. I'm just not getting... I, I will get a very good performance from her stuff. And then it fizzles out after two, three hours. I'm just not into that. I have vendors I know I can get a solid six to eight hours plus out of. And I'm just not interested in playing around with these vendors that I don't get a very long lasting throw from. And Southbound, unfortunately, is one of them. So um, I, there's a couple that I will still probably buy, but I'm not going to keep the stock that I used to have. I just don't feel like I need to have that much of a brand that I'm not too, too fond of. I do like her wax, but and it smells really good. I just don't like the performance issues. So again, this you know, a couple, maybe three hours and it was no longer doing anything for me. So, um, the next several are going to surprise some of you, probably piss some of you off or there's actually just two because the rest are empties. But, um, so some of you have caught on to what what has been going on in my brain. I've had a couple people message me and actually ask if I'm okay uh, because I saw an ISO post that I put up in the D-Stash group. Um, so last week on Tuesday, those of you who have been with me for as long as I've been on YouTube know that I used to be a really, really huge Sassy Girl Aroma fan. I bought her wax every single restock. I can't even scroll through that far anymore, but I had so many hauls on here because I bought her wax every restock. I would spend a lot of money on her wax. I loved her wax. Then back in July of 2017, something happened. It Something that was both her and my kind of faults. Um, and 
it just, it, it really happened at a bad time. Um, it could have been addressed at a different time. She was very heated. Something had gone on in the, uh, the group, her admin and her parted ways. And at that same time is when she was approached with some discrepancies in the sub loaf pre-order. She was still hot over her and her admin parting ways and it just went really bad, really fast, really downhill. I said some things that I shouldn't have. She said some things she probably shouldn't have. It's all under the water now. It's almost two years. Uh, but she wound up blocking me from the group and, and whatnot. <clears throat> so Tuesday, I had done a lot of like reflecting on what had happened because I really do miss her wax. I really got a good performance from her wax. So this past Tuesday, I messaged her and I said, hey, Julie, I want to apologize for my part in what happened a couple years ago. You know, I really miss, you know, buying your wax. I really enjoyed, you know, your wax, blah, blah, blah. And she messaged me back. She said, you know, it's okay. Things happen. And she'd be happy to unblock me from the group so I could rejoin if I want to. So I rejoined the group. I wound up buying a bunch of D-stashes that had her wax in it. I got some on Friday. I have some coming in today. Um, and so... I, I said to one of my friends, I said, I'm going to get a lot of hate for that. And she said, do you know what? It's your money. If they don't like it, they can find somebody else to watch or they can skip over your videos or, you know, whatever. Because at the end of the day, there's a lot of people who haul and melt Sassy Girl Roma. There's a lot of people who don't like her. There's a lot of people who love her. I never had an issue with the performance of her wax. The only issue that I had was after she closed the sub low, she changed the turnaround time. That was my only issue. And that was it. That was my only problem is I just didn't, I, I didn't feel that was fair. But again, that was two years ago. That is all wonder, water under the bridge and it's over. So I'm going to get into what I melted. So um, I did, I got these from Teresa. Teresa T for two hooked me up with some sassy girl and a lot of people I got, I bought probably six, seven D stashes of her stuff. So Anyways, this is Papa, Papa Smurf Cafe. It is blueberry sugar cookie latte marshmallow. So this is really good. It is like a blueberry coffee with a hint of a bakery scent. This performed forever. This I put on yesterday morning. It lasted through the evening. And look, it's only just about six months old. And I would have melted it sooner, but obviously I just got it in. Um, this is really good. I melted this primarily because it is offered in the restock on Saturday and I wanted to see if I need some more and I actually do want to grab a backup bag. For those of you who ha also have been with me for a long time know this is my number one favorite bedtime blend of all time from any vendor for the rest of my life. And so this is one I will pick up in a loaf, two loaves, five chunk bags. I don't care, but I need more and I'm going to kind of hoard this till I do. And this is Pink Sugar Sleepy Time. It is Pink Sugar Lavender Spearmint Chamomile. This is my number one favorite. It is such a soothing, calming blend. It just, and this one lasted forever. I put it on Friday night and um, I actually kept it on Saturday morning in my bedroom because it was still going strong. I still got hints of spearmint and pink sugar when we went to bed Saturday night, but I did change it out for something else. But yeah, this one is my number one favorite. And okay, I want to make sure that wasn't a hole. I do have a couple more, but they were samples. So those are actually in the empties. Okay, moving right along. So then um, from L3 Snug in their beds, this one is still performing very well. It is from late 2017. So her stuff does perform very well for those of you who have stocked up or want to stock up. Her stuff does very well beyond a year. We are almost at a year and a half on this and it is still very strong, just as strong as it was when I first got it. It is a really nice, I get mostly the Snuggle and the Fraser Fur, uh, but it is a really good bathroom blend. So I've been doing that in the bathroom. I've been trying to finish up my 2017 wax. So how I've been going about things is I've gone through all my, my vendor bins and like my desks, I didn't have any 2017 wax. Um, my, um, my uh that smell good shop i had some so i finished those up and i have a couple in my melt box i will do a melt box video some people asked for a melt box video so i did i'm gonna do that so i went through each of my vendor drawers pulled everything that was 2017 or earlier i didn't have anything else that was earlier than 2017 and just put it in my melt bin so now i know everything i have beyond that point <coughs> is 2018 or 2019 and i'm content with that because literally Every vendor that I have that I know of as of right now throws very well. So I am okay with holding on to their stuff and melting 2018 stuff now. All right, Singing in the Rain from Rose Girls. This is another really good one for the bathroom. It's a nice, fresh, kind of like aquatic 
just watery scent. It was really good. It performed very well. It lasted a long time. Rose Girls is one that I will continue to purchase from. Her stuff, I get a solid six plus hours out of um, L3. Same thing. I get a solid, I would say six to eight hours. Uh, Super Tarts, same thing. I can get 10 to 12 out of Super Tarts and Sassa Girl Roma, I can get 10 to 12 hours. So those are the vendors I'm really kind of just sticking with right now because they are giving me the best bang for my buck. Oh, and Hayden Rowe. Hayden Rowe, I've been getting, I got 24 hours out of a little sliver of tranquility. I mean, I let that thing go forever. All right, so then I did some Amity Island. I did order a BAM bag in the BAM bag pre-order like two weeks ago. So I do have a couple clamshells and this one is kind of getting on the soft side. I went through all my clamshells the, the other night and I grabbed any ones that were low or were getting soft. This one is really good. I love her rosemary mint blends and this one is just really, really, really good. And so I did one cube over the weekend in the bathroom. From Southbound Strawberry Cotton Candy Frosted Cake. This one I did in my kitchen. It does perform very well in my kitchen, but again, after about three hours, you can no longer smell it. So I'm just going to finish these up. So I listed my full clamshells and my partials I just put in my melt box. And so I'm just going to go ahead and finish these up and call it a day. Um, I really like her, her stuff, but I just, I'm really getting tired of buying wax that I have to change out a lot sooner than others. If I can have a vendor where I can get a good performance where it is something that I'm going to um, be able to melt and not have to change it out three times in the course. So like, for example, if I were to, if I melt VCS or Southbound and I, the, in one room or two rooms, and then I melt Super Tarts in two rooms or Sassy Girl Roma in two rooms, I will have to change out the southbound and the VCS wax twice before I have to change out the others once. And I'm paying more because VCS is more per ounce than almost any other vendor in the market that I've purchased from. And I'm having to use double in the course of a time that I do super tarts and I'm not trying and I'm not throwing Kirby under the bus I'm not throwing um, Rachel from Southbound under the bus I'm not throwing it's just their wax does not perform very well for me in my home it does not give me the longevity that I need and other people love it and that's fine but I personally I I need better I get better from other vendors so I'm gonna go with what I do there's a couple from each of those vendors I will still purchase um and, and that's, and that's just it. It's not that I'm going to never purchase again, but I'm going to be mindful what I buy. All right. Lucy from Super Tarts. This is good. It's uh, magically delicious and Mac apple. Um, it's band pieces. I bought in a D stash. I wanted to try it out cause I'd never melted before. It is really, really good. I love Mac apple. Pink lavender peeps cake from Rose Girls. This one is really good. I love, 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 love this scent. Um, I wish I had the mini melters for this, but I don't have Peeps Cake. I just have the pink sugar and lavender, but it's okay because I have a lot of her wax. I have three drawers, you know, those, those big drawer, the three drawers, the woven ones that are the big wide ones. I have three of those full of Rose Girls. I don't need, <laughs> I'm not, I'm like, I'm not buying any more Rose Girls for a while. I have to get through what I have. Uh, berry creme brulee fluff puffs. Uh, this is mini melters. This is so good. And then, so then I say I'm not buying. And then I've bought two D sashes. So Tara Lynn did a video and she had gotten some samplers and she wasn't crazy about some of the scents. Who messaged her at 4 a.m. this morning saying, hey girl, sell me those rose girls you don't like? Me. So as I'm saying, I'm not buying anymore. I've bought two D sashes that had rose girls. But anyways, that's neither here nor there either. So this is really good. I really enjoy that one. All right, love story from British Treasures. This is really good. It does remind me of Hose Over Rose Birthday from Sassy Girl. It is a really, really good blend. That pink sugar, blue sugar birthday cake just goes so well together. So um, I am on her customs list, so I wanted to melt some things and see if I needed some more for customs. Summer Breeze and Clothes on the Line from Rose Girls. This is really good. I've been cutting these chunks in half and doing them in my bathroom, and this performs very well. Summer Breeze is a laundry blend, and then I think Clothes on the Line is a laundry blend, if I'm not mistaken. I know Sasha's the queen of knowing about all these laundry blends, but I just melt what I like. I don't pay attention much to what it is. 
All right, so from Sugar and Spice, I have Salty Sear Pink Marshmallow. This is a really good one. I love this blend. Um, I pulled all the rest of my Sugar and Spice to melt because I don't want to hold on to it forever, and it's all over a year old. Summer Waffle Cone from British Treasures. This is really good. It's a summer scoop waffle cone and whipped cream. It's a nice, really kind of hint of bakery, hint of fruity, hint of just really, really nice creamy. Um, I did really enjoy that. This one I really liked. Lavender Chamomile and Honey I Wash the Kids Type. This reminded me of Deep Slumber from um, VCS, but this one actually lasted a lot longer than Deep Slumber does. This is one I would definitely pick up again in a heartbeat. All right, then from Nana's, or uh, Nana Makes Sense, we have Cupcakes at Tiffany's Strawberry Passion Pink Sugar. So this one was really good. This one was heavy on the pink sugar, and I did get a lot of the strawberry. I did get a hint of the Cupcakes at Tiffany's, but it was heavier on the other two, and that was fine. It did perform very well. I got a good throw out of it. I put it in two different warmers, and it just, it went. It did really well. All right, one more that's not empty, and then I have my empties. So then I have data from uh, Super Tarts. This one is a favorite of mine. It is lavender cream, pear slices, and sugar cookies. I love the scent. It is from November of 17, so I am working through it. I will pick this up in a BAM bag if it is ever offered. And that's the other thing. I'm really trying to be mindful what I have in BAM bags and what I buy because I don't reach for BAM bags, but I think my top favorite scents, I will. All right, now on to my empties. Frosted Blackberry Cookies from Southbound. This I did not get a single throw from. It smelled really good on cold and I got nothing on warm. Breakfast Cookies. So this kind of confused me. So I put a cube on Thursday or Friday? Friday. I put a cube in my living room and a cube in my bedroom. And I couldn't smell anything. And I was messaging with Kim from Kim Hart's Organizing on Facebook. And I ran to the grocery store, which is a half or like three quarters of a mile down the street to get my prescription because I got a text and my prescription was ready. When I came home, I could smell it, but I couldn't smell it beforehand. But still, after the three or so hour mark, I got nothing more out of it. So I am just really over that. I used to be okay with it. And now I'm at the point where I'm like, mm, I pay too much money for this stuff. Mandela Melts Drowsy. This was la lavender, lemon, and mint. I, all I got out of this was mint, and I did get a hint of lavender, but it was okay. It performed okay. I don't think I'd buy it. Um, it was one of the giveaway winnings that I got. All right, this one came in my package as a sample from Teresa. It is Disneyland. It was um, four chunks of her breakaway brittle. This was really good. I did two at a time. I did two in my living room, two in my kitchen. I wanted to see, I forgot, it's been two years since I melted her stuff. I forgot if I liked what I liked, what I didn't like. I wanted to pulling up my old posts in the group so I could see, you know, what I hauled and what I liked and what I, whatever. And that way I could see what I wanted. And Disneyland was one that I did enjoy. It is really nice. It is a little bit fruity. It's a little bit creamy. It, it's a little bit of everything. It is really good. So that is one that I will pick up hopefully in the restock. Then I finished the Rock Candy Salty Sierra from L3. This is really good. It was kind of like, it almost smelled like a lollipop and then it had that Salty Sierra, but it was really good. I would actually pick that up. Then I did some testing on Rainbow Melts because she did have a pre-order open and I really like the way her wax performs for me. She's another one that I get a very long lasting throw from, but I didn't I didn't have much experience with her stuff. So I had these samples. They were offered in the pre-order. So I melted them to see if I needed some. So this one's zucchini jam. It's creamy zucchini and strawberry jam filled donuts. This one reminds me a lot of um, strawberry fields forever. Tara will never go hungry again. That kind of blend from um, VCS. I did this in my living room. It performed very beautiful. It lasted for freaking ever. And I was really, really happy that I had that to try so I could see if I needed it. So I did pick up a couple bags in the pre-order. And then Cookie Heaven. And this is another one that I wanted to try out because this was offered in the pre-order. And again, I loved it. It performed very well. So I did pick up two, two bags in the pre-order. And then this was old. This was from two years ago. Vanilla Tobacco. There was two little butterfly, I think, shapes. I did this in the bathroom two different times. And it was really good. Performed very, very well lasted a long time. I get a solid eight hours plus out of her stuff. Then I finished 
fresh linen and November rain from Rose Girls. This came in my Christmas kahuna box in 2017. This, oh my God, it was so good. This I need, again, I will be listing that for sure in my book. Um, I will be still keeping track of what I've um, finished so that way I know what I want to repurchase and what I don't. Iceberg on the Rocks. This one is one that I really enjoy. Salty Sea Air Spearmint is just a nice, fresh scent. Performs very well. I finally finished this doggy bag in Autopose Strawberry Buttercream. I'm trying to finish through these. I had, I think about like 10 or 11 of these during that pre-order. It was the doggy bag pre-order back in early 2018. I think it was like January because I received it in February. And yeah, so I'm really trying to finish those I have so many I think I finished I think three two or three so I'm just focusing on that right now this is really good I really enjoyed this scent this is one I would definitely pick up again it was a nice creamy strawberry sassy girl aroma beach nights and cupcakes at Tiffany's this I did not get or detect any cupcakes at Tiffany's to me it was pure beach nights that is fine beach nights is one of my favorite blends I actually have not changed my wax out yet and I usually change my wax out after I do this video. Um, it is 10 minutes after 9 in the morning and I changed my wax out 7, 7.30 last night in this. I can still smell in my living room and it is still going strong 14 hours later. Her Beach Nights is my favorite. All right, and then finally we have Hayden Row Fruit Loops 11 Pound Cake Blueberry Muffins. So I posted in the group saying, I don't know if this is even Hayden Row, but it says it's Hayden Row. So I'm going with it. Um, it looked like a corner from a loaf. I got it in a D, in a D stash. It was one of those mystery D stashes um, that it was just like she filled a PFRE. It was like 25 bucks. And this was amazing. This performed very well. Smelled really good. The Fruit Loops, the lemon, and the blueberry all jived very well together. And it was amazing. So yeah. And Christina didn't say it wasn't her. She said it looked like it was like a custom loaf or something. Like pieces from a custom loaf. So it very well could have been her stuff. All right. So that is everything for this video. And um, like I said, I do have another haul. I have a Hayden Row haul to do. It was the big restock that I went in like six different times. That combined shipping gets me all the time. Um, I don't have any more outstanding that I'm aware of that will be arriving this week. I do have a couple in my iPad that I recorded last week that I need to upload still. And I just, I get to the point where it's really hard to upload more than a couple of week because it just ties up all the bandwidth so, and I don't always remember to set it before I go to bed. So anyways, that is it for this video. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.